in today's portion of Love Your Lettering Part 2, we're going to talk about simple banners and buntings for our lettering. Today I'm working in pencil on my Rhodia dot pad. Whenever I think of banners, I try to think of how a ribbon flows. So I'm starting with a straight banner and I'll draw the main portion and then I draw the tails and then put in the lines that create the folded look. A straight banner is certainly the easiest one to start with. I like to add in shading to the portions that fall behind the main portion of the banner to give it some more dimension. You're not limited to just straight and symmetrical banners. You can start with a curved line and work the banner from that angle. There are very few limits to the shapes you can create with banner. You'll start with the main portion and then add your tails. You can even draw a second portion for more lettering. Another fun element to work with with your lettering are buntings. I start by drawing the string that the bunting would be hanging from and then add the shapes that I'll use to put my letters on. Almost any of your favorite lettering styles will work on both the banners and the buntings. You can add more layers to the buntings as well. First I draw in the shape that will hold my letters. And then I'll go back and add another shape or pennant behind it. Adding in some drop shadows adds to the dimension.
It's fun to use the buntings or banners as a focal point in your lettering design. To add more punch to this one, I'm adding another layer of the same shape as the bunting underneath. You're not limited just to ink or pencil in these designs. You can also go back over with colored pencil or watercolor to add colors that really make it pop. These are colored pencils from Tombow. This is the Erogitin line, and they layer really nicely and put down a rich layer of color. One of the reasons these pencils have become my new favorite is that the frustration from broken tips while sharpening is eliminated because the colored leads in these are glued throughout the pencil. This is just a small sample of what you can do with banners and buntings in your lettering. I can't wait to see what you create. To find out more about the Love Your Lettering series, visit creatively.com slash loveyourlettering2.